rear-facing infant-only seat. Hi, my name is Yomi Diaz Castillo and I'm a National Certified Passenger Safety Technician. And I'm here today to help educate you on how to properly install your child's car seat into your vehicle. So once you've buckled the seatbelt in, you want to make sure that if your car seat comes with built-in lockoffs, you want to go ahead and use them. And then you want to make sure that once you've done that, that your base cannot move more than one inch from side to side or front to back. If your car seat or car seat base comes with a level indicator, you want to make sure that the bubble is within the slot. Once the base is secured into the vehicle seat, you're then going to take the infant carrier and you're going to place it in. You're going to hear a click. After that, you're going to check the child's harnesses. For rear-facing position, the harnesses are going to be at or below the shoulders. You want to make sure that you can't pinch any of the harness. If you can, then it's too loose. You need to tighten it. You want to make sure that the chest clip is at the armpit level. Remember, the safest way for your child to travel is rear-facing. Check the weight and height limits for your car seat. Convertible seat in forward-facing position. Once you have secured your child's car seat in your vehicle, you're gonna test it at the belt path, making sure that it doesn't move more than one inch from side to side or front to back. If your car seat comes with a top tether anchor, make sure you secure it. Sometimes they're towards the top of the roof or towards the bottom. Check your owner's manual for more information. Once the child has been secured into the car seat, we're gonna check for tightness. Make sure that the chest clip is at the armpit level and that the harness comes from at or above the shoulder. If you can pinch any of the harness, then it's too loose. You're going to pull the strap to tighten it. Booster seat. Once your child has reached the maximum height and weight of their forward-facing seat, they're ready for a booster seat. This simply gives them the boost that they need so that the seat belt fits them in the correct places. Once the seat belt is fastened, it's going to go across their hard hip bones and over their shoulder bone. In Arizona, children between the ages of five and eight and who are under four foot nine must be in a booster seat. Remember, cars were designed for adults, not for children. It's important that every child ride in the correct car seat every single time.